So last week I put the queen excluder in and the bees can't get through it, it's too small, so I gotta get rid of this. So the hive is taken off really good, very strong hive. And I'm gonna have to take it off and put the super back on. Wow. Good job. Whew. Yeah, they're doing this hive doing really good. Oh boy. Oh man. But this year wasn't doing doing me any so. So they're gonna have more room now. That's good. This hive here, the yellow hive, I put a queen um uh cone in here where the queen didn't hatch, so that's going now, that's laying eggs there. That one's doing fine, eggs being laid there. That one over there, I hadn't seen a queen yet. The blue one, I'm still working on seeing if we can get a queen rolling in that one. So I started out with two nukes, now I got four. <laughs> uh, yeah. This one's going good. So this blue one, we put a queen cell in it last week. I got a lot of bees, but I don't see any eggs or lava yet. week I'll take a frame from the one of the hives with the eggs in it and bring it over here so they can make themselves a queen. 
So last week I came here, I had two frames in here and I put three empty frames, so they're moving along pretty good too. This, this was meant for keep the queen for going up so you can make your honey, but the bees can't get through. So I'm going to go order me some metal ones that are a little bit wider so the bees can get in and out. So I'll have to get rid of this. And what is that exactly? It's a bee ex uh, queen excluder. Oh, keeps queen yeah. Going, keeps the queen from going up into the super so, you can, so she don't leave eggs where the honey is. Oh, okay. But this one didn't work. Yep. 